What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you some more Pillars of Eternity lore, and today we are talking about Whale, god of dreams, secrets, revelations, and mysteries. First things first, couple spoilers for the games here and there. Nothing too major, a tiny bit about one of the options from the ending of the first game, and then the Forgotten Sanctum DLC for the second game. But beyond that, it's pretty well clear. All right, so the first thing to know about Whale is that outside of being the god of secrets, essentially, Whale is genderless. It's a giant floating mass of eyeballs. It's discount Hermaeus Mora, basically. But moreover that, it's important to understand that while Whale is the god of secrets, it's also the god of revelation and mysteries. That includes solving those mysteries, which is kind of an interesting duality, which we see played out in the worship of Whale, actually. Oftentimes, worshippers of Whale will be like librarians or just any caretaker of a learning institution, basically. Someone who protects knowledge or tries to share knowledge, even. However, in the Forgotten Sanctum DLC, we see the exact opposite of that with Worshippers of Whale, with a cult of sorts called the Hand of the Occult. These are whale priests that seek to control and sometimes outright rewrite history and the flow of knowledge throughout Aeora. They're very much so a knowledge is power type of faction, and they hang in the shadows and attempt to rewrite events to be more favorable for the things they want, or to obfuscate things. Now, like most of the gods, when it comes to actual interaction in the games, we don't really see that too much. However, we do talk to Whale a few times throughout both the titles. In the first game, there is a side quest where we can go find a scroll, and once we pick it up, Whale asks us to go lose it, just for the sake of concealing it, and you can choose to do that or not. And then at the very end of the game, Whale will actually ask you when you get towards the end to ignore what the other gods have requested you do with the Hollowborn souls, and that to instead just scatter them, to lose them, to let whatever happens to them happen to them in the great mystery of the cosmos, basically. And then Whale doesn't really do much in the second game outside of the DLC that is dedicated to Whale, which is the Forgotten Sanctum. Now, as I mentioned, the people that we meet in the Forgotten Sanctum are, of course, the Hand of the Occult. Now, overall, very interesting DLC. There's a lot going on there. But it primarily revolves around Whale's Titan. So Titans, which I've also made a lore video about, are the bodies that the gods used to use when they walked the Earth, but they no longer do so. Whale refused to return its body to Ukaizo, where most of them are laying in, you know, decay. Whale wouldn't do that. And we learned throughout that DLC that's because Whale's Titan, unlike the rest of them, wasn't killed. It was just put to sleep. And the crux of that DLC is that it's waking up, and it needs to be dealt with, because Titans are no joke. And that DLC has a variety of endings, pretty much either around putting the Titan back to sleep, killing it outright, or making sure it dies, I should say, or potentially sending it against Aethys for the main story, which will have repercussions for what you're available to do for the end of the game. However, it doesn't really change anything as far as the actual ending goes. And then there's even an option where if you still have the Skull of Consul Hot, which is one of the Archmages you can fight in that game, you can potentially give the body of the Titan to Consul Hot to use, which is a decidedly evil thing to do, I'd say, because Consul Hot just like flat out tells you he's going to try to perform his own apotheosis with it. So I feel like that's probably not a canon ending, but probably more of just an ending for fun. But nonetheless, that's kind of how that DLC wraps up. There is a lot of other stuff as far as like lore and stuff in the Forgotten Sanctum. However, any and every bit of lore in the Forgotten Sanctum has to be taken with a certain amount of disbelief. Because as you'll recall, the Hand of the Occult operates out of there and their job is to rewrite history as they see fit. This was even talked about by the devs when they were working on this DLC. You should literally not take every single bit of lore you find in the Forgotten Sanctum as gospel because it is intentionally confusing because of what the Hand of the Occult's job is. There you go, guys. There's some cool stuff we know about Whale and pretty much everything there is to know about Whale. But you wouldn't really expect to know much about the God of Secrets after all. With that out of the way, guys, truly, thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.